So I want to try to explain cortisporin, which is a combination of neosporin and hydrocortisone with over-the-counter components. And, well, so I was trying to get a cortisone-containing antibiotic cream for a client over in Austell, and I didn't want them to have to drive all the way over to uh, the office. And so I was calling in a medication, and it turns out it's called cortisporin, and it's $65 for a tube of it. You get 15 grams, which is a half an ounce. And um, so the pharmacist happened to be related to me, and so I asked him, I said, this, you know, I, I've been recommending to customers to mix uh, Neosporin with uh, Cortisone 10, which is a 1% hydrocortisone cream, and um, mix those two together and use that, not in the eyeball, but on most other areas with rash and uh, infection, to... Uh, seal it, soothe it, soften scabs, etc. And he said, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's in Cortrosporin for $65. And so um, I had been recommending this for a minute, and I still do. All you do is get uh, Neosporin, which is a triple antibiotic ointment. You get Neosporin plain without any of the additional pain relievers or anything mixed in it. Just straight up Neosporin, the original formulation. And then you get cortis uh, hydrocortisone 10. Uh, the brand name I've been recommending is cortisone 10. It's in a red box, and it doesn't have anything else in it either. It's just straight cortisone 10. Mix those two 50-50 and um, put them in a vial or a Ziploc or some other container. Put it on with a uh, wooden depressor or a Q-tip or your fingertip, and you can put that on those skin lesions. If those uh, are allowed to accumulate too much over time, you're going to have a big greasy mess. You're going to want to clean off in between, and cleaning off in between is good with Cetaphil wipes, soap and water, little uh, corner of a washcloth, etc. Um, you'll be removing scab material and the excess uh, homemade cortisporin from those lesions, and then uh, then you can reapply it. You just don't want to let the pet get uh, all gross with uh, dirt containing uh, homemade cortisporin. So keep the lesions clean, intermittent cleaning, and then an application couple of days, let me know how things are going, and that in a 50-50 mix is how you make uh, homemade cortisporin.